Hello guys and welcome to the Adria Beam channel. Today we are going to talk about the user interface of GSTAR CAD 2021. You can enjoy working at GSTAR 2021 environment in different ways. You can display and rearrange elements like the toolbars, display the command bar, switch between workspace, change the interface themes and enable the status bar. The toolbars and command bar uh, can also be floated anywhere on the screen or docked as well. Uh, we are going to give a quick summary of the topics and themes that we are going to talk about today. So first we are going to talk about quick access bar. Second is uh, workspace. Third is uh, menu bar. Menu bar. Four is uh, the ribbon. Five is the appearance. Six is the drawing area. Seven are the toolbars. Toolbars. We have toolbars in uh, GSTAR cl uh, Classic. Uh, eight is uh, the user coordinated system. Uh, nine is model and layout space tabs. Uh, Ten is command window. Uh, Eleven is the status bar. Status bar. This is the status bar. And twelve is the properties palette. So here we're going with the first one. So quick access toolbar is located here. Uh, and uh, this uh, is displaying the frequently used tools like new, open, save, save as, pr plot, undo, redo, and uh, this option for the work uh, the work uh, spaces. We uh, moreover you can customize it, adding more commands uh, from the top drop button here or showing it below about the ribbon so you can see you can customize it here the sec so the second one is workspace uh, switch work workspace switching switch uh, between the workspace uh, to the drafting and gstar cad by clicking here you see that you uh, the workspace changes get toolbars and here uh, you have for 2d drafting what's more gstar cad provides many color themes such as uh, gstar cad light blue black blue black silver or aqua i already talked about it 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 is uh, very um uh, it is very kind to your eyes to change a bit because it is uh, painful for your eyes to work on same uh, uh, to watch same background for many hours to come uh, we have a workspace command so uh, you type workspace and uh, click um, OK the workspace commands allow you to create, modify, and save save workspace current. You can customize GSTAR CAD ribbon or classic workspace to suit interface environment need, needs uh, much easier. Workspace are a set of menu, toolbars, palettes, and ribbon control panels that are grouped and organized so that you can work in custom task-oriented drawing environment. When you use a workspace, only the menus, toolbars, and palettes that are relevant to the task are displayed. In addition, a workspace may actually display the ribbon, a special palette with task-specific control panels. You can easily switch between workspace. So, uh, here, uh, when you uh, enter the workspace, you, can, uh, you get this um, pop-up window uh, with these options that you can type in like you want to add it you, you can just add, uh, you, you the, here uh, you have uh, infer, uh, uh, the options that are uh, offered to you uh, but uh, you, 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 you can click on them like this add it or and uh, you will get this window when you where you edit uh, whatever you want to change in this workspace or 
uh, you can uh, click uh, the right click on your mouse and get this all all of these uh, options that you can select here. Uh, so so set the current. Uh, so set the current uh, is um, set a current workspace. Save as. Uh, save a, a current interface configuration as a works works work, workspace. Edit. Open the customize user interface dialog box, customize tab where you can make modification to uh, the workspace. So, uh, workspace, uh, rename, rename, uh, renamer workspace, delete, delete a workspace, uh, and settings. Open the workspace uh, settings dialog box, uh, which controls the display menu order and save settings of the workspace. Uh, you can uh, here to change what workspace you want to uh, work and do you want to save it automatically. The workspace changes. So. Uh, so the menu bar, the menu bar is here. Uh, the menu bar is used for selecting commands by mouse instead of inputting commands by the keyboard. In it you can find the following menu tabs like file, edit, uh, view, insert, format, tools, row, tag, dimensions and uh, things like that. Uh, so uh, you can use any of the options on the menus from the menu bar at the top uh, of uh, the drawing area or by uh, clicking here. Uh, choose one of the following methods to use, to use the menu on the menu bar. Click a menu name to choose the menu or expand a list of, of, of options. So you can click it and you, you can click it or just uh, get the mouse to here and you will get this dropping menu or uh, you can uh, uh, type uh, alt uh, and the first letter of uh, the uh, of the, this uh, uh, menu name so alt plus f you will get uh, this edit uh, so edit so view, so modify, and that that those are the shortcuts. We will get to them later. Uh, you can uh, shortcut menus provide quick access to the specific commands. A short menu displays when you right click on the object. So we will select this objects and we will click right menu and we will get the shortcut menu for the options that uh, we can do with this uh, selected objects uh, or we, we can uh, right click it on the layout menu model or here to customize something uh, uh, here customizing the ribbon properties and uh, right click on the uh, work, work, work workspace you can get these options and things like that uh, we will now talk about shortcuts. Customize a faster way to invoke a command is customize its shortcut. Uh, we, for that, we have uh, uh, the command kustag. So kus, you, you can see that uh, they, they already have the, you um, this option. So in this option, you have like um, the. Um, uh, you have uh, some of the options here with uh, default uh, shortcuts. Uh, so you can easy uh, modify them, delete them or make a new one. If you want to create a new one, just click the new button and customize uh, command window will pop up. Then you can search the command or select one of the command lists. So you can select, uh, you can search or select. Uh, you have like file, edit or just you can type if you know the name. So we'll, uh, we will um, we will select um, trim option. So uh, trim, uh, select OK, set shortcut. We will set it to Alt T say OK and we will we have this option uh, so 
uh, that's about it about the shortcut customize menu you can uh, if you want to delete this option you just go to delete it is okay and that's uh, about it uh, the next topic is the ribbon uh, the ribbon uh, consists of several several panels uh, which are organized into each tab according to the, their task label the tools and controls in each panel are also available in toolbars and dialog boxes uh, so uh, this is one panel uh, this is the one tab um, this is uh, one expandable panel and this is one expandable tools button so you have everything here expandable uh, the ribbon is structured by tabs every tab displays a series of panels with it with own tool tools commands or thumbnails easier to select or pick up so here we, we have home insert and annotation 3d mesh layout view and etc etc the panel the panel shows the must use tools so must uh, use you can edit them uh, some Thumb, thumbnails has an expandable tools button that I can expand in uh, drop down method in addition most of the panels at home tab have an expandable, expandable panel that show up more commands related so the expandable panel is located at the bottom of the panel if you click at the bottom of the panel more commands related will be displayed uh, so expandable tool button some of the uh, thumbnails have the expandable tools button that they can expand in a drop down method if you click click this button all related tools will be displayed uh, we have appearance you can imagine you can manage the interface theme plus show display tool menu bar and file tabs and status bar so th that is the topic that we talk about in these videos uh, you can uh, un un uh, unmark this and you you will uh, lose uh, the tool the menu bar you can uh, uh, customize like uh, mixing the 2d drafting and g start classic like uh, adding some of the um, some of the uh, toolbars and things like that uh, this is the drawing area uh, your drawings are displayed in drawing window uh, so uh, that's about it for for today's lesson uh, uh, in next video we continue with the toolbar uh, that are consisted uh, mostly in uh, gstart classic if you have any questions and if you need more information about gstart cad feel free to contact us uh, by uh, by uh, email or uh, through our website that uh, are going to be uh, in the link below in the descriptions till the next time best regards